basically. You just said. So here we are. And for Mark, my client who is a computer, uh, pro I think he does computer. I know he sits at the desk all day doing computer programming. And I've offered to make a video each week. And I'm very grateful that he'll be a supporter. And um, Casey, what do you think uh, would be best? So here we are, two yogis. What's your idea? So I was thinking, um, I my husband works in a computer chair all day and some of the biggest issues he has are with the back particularly the lower lumbar because it's because it gets very tight and he has trouble sitting up straight when he goes to stretch and maybe some forward folds are difficult and also hip mobility is a big struggle because when you're sitting all day you don't stretch out the hips and this can be a very tight area as well so Maybe we maybe we can start there. Okay, I think that's a great idea. So, well, Casey, let's just jump in mm -hmm. and let's start a little practice. And I think uh, your demonstration was beautiful. Yeah, let's come up onto our knees and Hopefully others will join along, <laughs> Mark, <laughs> and let's have the tailbone elongated and feel the um, pubic bone. Um, I don't know if you can see me, there's so much sun. And lift the pubic bone up by bringing the abdominal muscles in, the lower ribs in, Bring the chest up and just think about the back of the body, the buttocks getting heavy, the front of the body lifting, getting light, but bringing strength into that. All right, Casey, what else can you suggest from here? From here... I would suggest there is a small movement that we can do uh, from here upward for the back or for, for hip mobility. Let's do one more for the back. Okay. Um, I would highly recommend opening the chest and the shoulders. Sometimes this requires a little bit more warming up, but normally what I would do is start to reach towards the heels here. So we open up the chest and we only lean as far as is comfortable. And you want to slowly bring the, the fingertips towards the heels. And you can look up towards the ceiling without straining the neck, just very lightly pressing back, opening the shoulders, opening the chest. When it's feeling like a little bit too much pressure, you can slowly roll back up and come back to center. All right. So yesterday I went for a walk and I realized I hadn't taken a walk for, oh boy, I don't know, a week or two. And just coming down to the ground and maybe finding a pillow to sit on. And just sitting cross-legged on the floor, I realized how much that opens up the um, external rotation of the hips, mm -hmm. which we don't get too much of when we're walking. Because I know uh, my friend Mark, he walks, wow. I wish I lived in Texas and could walk with him because it's, um, he'll usually post it on Facebook and it's usually three or four miles That's in beautiful exactly. areas. And I'm like, where is he in Texas? Where is he doing this? <laughs> so Casey, what could we do for hips? 
So for hips, I mean, starting here, it would be nice if we could maybe bring our feet together. This is my favorite. And even just doing that at the beginning can be a little bit a more of a hip opener. So I like to practice a little bit of butterfly before I do any forward folds in this position, just to open up the hips a little more. It's very nice with the pillow underneath too. It For me, it just rotates the hips so that I'm not hurting the back and slouching. Yeah. It helps me sit up straight. Oh, hey, I'm wearing butterfly pants as we do the butterfly pose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I love doing a, a small forward fold here and just like slowly walking my hands forward. I'm gonna change the position of the camera so we can see here. I love walking my hands forward just until I, I feel like a, a small stretch. And then I do this slowly until I reach the ground sometimes if the hips are very tense. And you're so beautiful and limber. So Mark might have to actually hold on to his shins yes. or anybody else with tight hips yes. and so actually true. use their arms to pull back. But go ahead and show us the potential in <laughs> body. <laughs> yeah, so I usually, if I'm feeling really tight or have worked those muscles near my hips or in my upper legs, I like to walk it out slowly and then fold forward. However, when um, when I have already stretched, it's much easier to fold forward like this. So I'll take okay. that. Um, and of course, even just here, as long as you're feeling a stretch, ma making sure your shoulders are back. And again, that lower, the pelvis is tucked under and we're not you know, slouching down below, keeping the, the back straight. You can just pull on your shins a bit and, and uh, start to fold forward. Mm. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. So I'd like to wrap up this session because often we come and we have issues and they land in our tissues. So let's do something where we can finish this routine by letting go of the issues that build up in our tissues. So let's just shake the uh, wrists, try to shake the arms, try to wiggle the hips and any of these issues in our tissues. <laughs> <laughs> like how that rhymes. Just think about shaking that out. Take one leg and shake it. Take the other leg, keep shaking your hands. Take the other leg and shake it. Go back to the first leg. Shake the leg, the other leg, shake the leg, and then bend your knees a whole bunch real hard, fast, and let your whole body. <laughs> let your whole body just kind of shake, 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 shake. Ah, all right, there you have it, a little yoga practice. So to honor your teachers, press your palms in front of your heart and realize the light within us sees the light within everybody. Namaste. Namaste.